my uh, presentation uh, of you of the Australia Asian Silver uh, as a massive network in China and beyond. As we know, in Western uh, countries such as Australia, uh, North America, and the UK, uh, there are uh, or relative higher uh, prevalence uh, of asthma. Uh, but in China, uh, it uh, has a lower uh, prevalence. Uh, but uh, in China, uh, the uh, uncontrolled asthma uh, contributed contributes to uh, mortality uh, compared with the uh, land in Western countries. Uh, whatever uh, the, uh, import, the most important factor uh, affecting uh, the uh, uh, untold asthma is the uh, uh, severe asthma. Severe asthma is a debilitating form of asthma which affects up 10% uh, of asthma uh, sufferers. And uh, it has the lowest quality of life and uh, the highest risk for morbidity and mortality. And uh, uh, it consumes that the majority of hair care resources and often does not respond well to current available medications. Uh, as we know, uh, yesterday we have uh, some professors talked about the treatable trait. So there are um, many traits that are affecting asthma control, uh, such as uh, comorbid conditions. So we want to uh, solve these uh, comorbid conditions. Uh, we would uh, uh, consider uh, these uh, traits. Um, uh, before uh, 2000, there uh, is no official organization uh, that uh, systematically study the civil animal. <clears throat> uh, but after 2000, uh, then uh, there are some several uh, organizations such as SAP and uh, you bear Pratt, uh, established the population to uh, study the silver asthma. Uh, in 2010, um, Peter uh, want to uh, promote to establish uh, the uh, Australian Asian Silver Asthma Network. And uh, he, um, has to, uh, he has uh, uh, been to China for many times. Uh, this uh, uh, Sam, uh, mission is to improve the understanding of silver asthma in order to develop better treatments. And uh, through SM, we are gaining insight into how severe asthma develops in patients and learning about the molecular, cellular, and biological mechanisms that lead to different treatable traits of asthma. Uh, from 2010 uh, to uh, 2018, uh, so there are many uh, meeting ways. Uh, PI in uh, China. Uh, I want to uh, seek uh, the right sites uh, in uh, collaboration uh, with them uh, for the SM. Uh, the SM phase one study in China uh, is a, a cross sectional study uh, in a real world setting to observe the asthma control and other clinical characteristics in a multi-dimensional evaluation. Uh, 
in a uh, in several enema in comparison with the mild to moderate enema. The <coughs> phase one study uh, has been published uh, uh, international peer review journal. Uh, Serial enema is largely unexplored in the Chinese population. So all the patients with enema underwent systematic evaluation by investigating the characteristics of uncontrolled enema and of uh, enema treated with three different controlled therapies. Uh, this uh, March Center real world study was conducted from March 2014 to September 2015, and that's with stable enema underwent assessment of medication use, enema control, quality of life, psychological symptoms, worker productivity, and activity impairment, bronchial uh, dilator response, and uh, sputum induction. As a uh, uh, result, we uh, found a relatively low proportion of severe refractory asthma based on ERS ATS criteria. It is 3.4%. Uh, and there were 14.8% uh, of the patients receiving this treatment with GNAS steps 4 and 5 and severe asthma. And uh, two of five, about 40% uh, patients with asthma in China are con uncontrolled, <coughs> displaying more psychological symptoms and reduced work productivity. And uh, the substantial gain in, uh, in asthma control in obtained by triple control therapy. And this may be a promising therapeutic operation for persistent edema. Uh, but there are some limitations uh, to the uh, phase one study. Uh, for example, some subjects were under-treated uh, and uh, not cover most of China and linking the this in Chinese population. And uh, this is a cross-sectional study, but not a longitudinal study, which urgently did a prospective three or five-year compost study in a real-world setting for a sample. <laughs> so this year, uh, we um, promote to uh, design the SAN phase two study in China. Uh, the phase two study is different from uh, phase one uh, in some issue. For example, this is a prospective three year concourse study. And uh, we, um, the sites um, uh, are eight sites in China. And we include, include uh, the data management center, uh, which uh, is located in our hospital. It, uh, which is the Chinese Cochrane uh, Center. And uh, we have the uh, professor, the uh, income as the statistician. <coughs> uh, this is the uh, distribution of the sites. Uh, the blue star is the data management center uh, in Chengdu city. And this is the picture uh, for the uh, uh, protocol discussion in Guiyang city. Uh, now, I want to uh, uh, further uh, talk about uh, some, uh, some uh, studies based on the uh, sun. Uh, as we know, uh, there are uh, many competed conditions that affect uh, the asthma control. So we do some uh, work uh, in obesity and uh, uh, psychological dysfunction. As we know, uh, as early study in uh, 2008, uh, the professor Hander uh, found the uh, obesity associated, associated asthma 
as an independent field type uh, by using cluster analysis. Uh, recently, uh, a study published in uh, Andreas of ATS, uh, they found, uh, they found uh, the uh, confirmed the uh, obese uh, asthma uh, in the Asian population. Uh, as we know, uh, here, Professor uh, Lisa Wood uh, previously found uh, a high fight challenge increase airway inflammation and uh, impairs from cartilator is carried <coughs> in asthma. And uh, uh, the uh, obesity associated asthma uh, present, uh, present uh, a nutrific, uh, neuro, uh, nutrific uh, inflammation. Uh, in the sputum. Um, and uh, they find uh, the uh, airway obstruction uh, in this uh, obese asthma. <coughs> uh, but uh, uh, some, uh, but uh, they, it is unclear whether the fast foods um, would be associated with a uh, severe asthma. Uh, so uh, I before I uh, continue my presentation, I ask you a question. Uh, how often do you uh, have the fast foods? Uh, if uh, uh, please uh, put your hand if you uh, have uh, more than one time every week. Please hands. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, as a result, uh, we found, uh, we designed this uh, uh, meta analysis to explore the fast foods, uh, relationship of fast foods uh, with the uh, asthma with and the saver eczema. Uh, as the picture indicated, uh, when you have uh, the intake uh, intake of the fast foods <coughs> with more than one uh, time every week. Uh, there are uh, you will be an uh, in increased uh, risk of the severe asthma and the current with and the severe eczema. Uh, after uh, this uh, um, paper published. Uh, uh, in this priority, uh, it is uh, uh, dis uh, disseminated uh, widely uh, in uh, websites. Uh, but uh, some studies, uh, other studies, uh, it is different uh, from uh, uh, the characteristics of the obese enema. For example, uh, and this study by Wang Wei uh, and uh, his colleagues, uh, it found that the BMI is negatively with the uh, interference in the sputum. Uh, but they found, uh, uh, but on the contrast, uh, contrast, uh, they found the uh, lung uh, base asthma uh, and uh, the Three uh, very increased uh, increased sputum neutrophil uh, in comparison with the obese enema. So uh, we want to ask a question: Why uh, it is and uh, it is still true uh, for these um, results? So I uh, we want to try our best to explain why it is. As we know, uh, yesterday uh, some professors talked about the treatable traits. Uh, as we know, the autopsy would be the uh, factor uh, that affect uh, that affects uh, this uh, inf uh, inflammation phenotype. I think. Uh, so 
we uh, explore the autopsy um, would be uh, an infector um, which modified the uh, inflammation uh, in the airway. <coughs> Uh, we divided the patients into four groups. Uh, the first group is the oral sample of the obese and obesity and autopsy. The second is obesity only. The third one is autopsy only. The fourth is the lung obesity and lung autopsy. So we find some uh, if, uh, results uh, that uh, is uh, has the uh, interaction effects. Uh, that include the neutrophils and the macrophages in sputum. And uh, uh, we found uh, there are some uh, systemic uh, inflammation, such as uh, IL-6 and CRP in the blood that has uh, other cytokines uh, uh, weight that uh, has the interaction uh, effects uh, between the autopsy and the obesity. Uh, this is the interaction uh, uh, picture for the <coughs> autopsy and obese. Uh, in summary, um, the overlap of the obesity and with autopsy in anima a word resulted in decreased little uh, fail in induced sputum. And uh, it uh, would have the elevated biomarkers <coughs> such as macrophage in induced sputum and the systemic IL-6 and the CRP. <coughs> Let's say if we want to further uh, <coughs> observe the obesity based uh, uh, better per lights uh, in anima. So we uh, did this study. Uh, we have the two groups with obesity and the lean subjects with anima. Uh, and we found the 18 metal lights uh, in uh, different uh, differential metal lights uh, in the, uh, between the two groups. And uh, we found the differential metal lights uh, are associated with the clinical uh, characteristics, including BMI and other inflammatory uh, mediators. At the same time, uh, we, uh, had found, we have found the major analyst pathway that could uh, explain the differential uh, matter lights. Uh, and we use the differential uh, matter lights to uh, act, uh, accurate, accurately uh, separate the obese edema and the lean edema. Uh, in our summary, uh, we uh, found 28 differential metal lights that distinguish obese from the lean uh, asthmatic subjects. Uh, the second is uh, when the Asian analysis identified 18 potential metabolic signatures of the obese asthmatics. The third one is a pathway topology analysis uncover eight most probable pathways involved in the developing development of obese anima. Uh, and uh, we further uh, did some research about the uh, psychological dysfunction that affect uh, asthma control or changes, uh, uh, changes these patients uh, be more severe. So we designed a cross-sectional study in asthmatics with or without uh, depressing symptoms. And uh, the outcomes uh, are the bronchodilator response, BDR, and the inflammatory phenotype, 
and the inflammatory mediators in induced symptom and uh, syndrome. Uh, the depression symptoms uh, were defined by hospital anxiety and the depression scale. <coughs> uh, as a result, we found compared with uh, the patient's uh, asthmatics without depression uh, symptoms, uh, the patients with depression symptoms had reduced BDR in the depressive asthmatics. And uh, <coughs> these patients had elevated the sputum neutrophil uh, in the depressed uh, asthmatics. Uh, at the same time, we found the sputum neutrophil uh, correlated with the hand depression scores. Uh, this is the uh, uh, symptom IL-1 beta. Uh, so I did the uh, mediator's uh, symptom in the symptom. We found the symptom IL-1 beta, TNFR-alpha, and uh, interferon gamma in the depressive patients are significantly elevated in comparison with those without depression uh, symptoms. Uh, and at the same time, we found the serum IL-1 beta, TNF alpha, and interferon gamma, and the CCL-17 in the depressive patients are significantly elevated in comparison to those without depression symptoms. So <clears throat> we did uh, the medication analysis. We found uh, the IL-1 beta and the TIF alpha in the sputum mediated uh, the uh, correlation between uh, depression scores and uh, BDR. Uh, and on the other hand, we found the IL-1 beta in serum and uh, uh, the IL-1 beta in sputum uh, mediated the correlation between the hand, hand depression scores and the sputum neutrophils. So <clears throat> we um, have the hypothetic uh, schematic diagram for the depressive uh, edema. Uh, edema patients with depressive symptoms present worse uh, edema control, which is most likely explained by impaired BDR and uh, neutrophilic airway inflammation. The second is uh, IL-1 beta and TFF alpha, which are two key pro-inflammatory cytokines that mediated the correction of the depressive symptoms with impaired BDR and uh, neutrophilic airway inflammation. <coughs> and uh, the neutral cyclic uh, edema seems to be to present as the predominance of the <coughs> TH1 or M1 immune response. So <coughs> in a summary uh, for uh, my presentation, the channel is assigned uh, phase one and uh, two studies as the key base of exploring characteristics and the mechanisms of a severe animal in Chinese population. Uh, unhealthy diet, such as fast foods, especially hamburger, would worsen animal control or be risk factor of the severe animal. Uh, second, uh, the third one is the autopsy would modify inflammatory characteristics of the obesity associated animal. And uh, the neural psychological asthma is characterized by a controlled or zero asthma, which is the most likely explained by impaired BDR and the neutrophilic airway inflammation in relation with IL-1 beta and TNF alpha. Uh, finally, I um, uh, say thanks, thanks to my uh, research group and uh, uh, other professors and teachers uh, contribute this uh, study. Uh, finally, I say thanks to all of you. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It was great to hear about the progress of the Australasian Severe Asthma Network and your research following on from that. It was a very interesting talk. Do we have any questions from the floor? Yep. What effect do you think the steroids are having on the psychological um, aspects of the final point there? Do you think this is related to the individual response to the steroid? Uh, <clears throat> in this study, I uh, we uh, you ask me a definition of a cigarette mark? Yeah. yeah. Uh, in our study, uh, we um, define the cigarette mark uh, use the uh, TILA uh, definition, uh, who receive um, steps uh, four or five uh, medications. Yeah, I think the, the question more known is it's steroid treatment modifying or mediating depression and asthma findings. Yeah, rather than the asthma itself is it supposed to Which is that factor? Autopy? Uh, it's corticosteroid treatment driving neutrophilia. Yeah. No, no, psychological depression. Yeah. Depression. Yeah. Uh, as we know, the steroids uh, would uh, uh, increase uh, neutrophils in the airway. Uh, uh, but uh, in our study, uh, we have the baseline uh, characteristics, uh, including medications. Uh, so uh, in uh, between the group, there are uh, balance uh, imbalance the uh, in medication in ICS uh, because we uh, have these patients. Uh, is not uh, the uh, or, uh, not the uh, patients with severe asthma. Uh, they, uh, they are they include uh, some moderate uh, asthma um, in these subjects, uh, but uh, some uh, subjects uh, have the uh, uh, depressed depression symptoms, uh, but the others uh, have not. Uh, thank you, Wang Long. Um, can I, as a point of clarification, did you find that CCL17 was elevated in both obesity and depression, or just depression? I might have misunderstood. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, 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 an interesting uh, set of cons. CCL17 uh, is a uh, M2, uh, uh, M2 cytokines. Um, several years, years ago, uh, I found some papers uh, that uh, talk uh, 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 involved in this cytokine. Uh, but in uh, this study, uh, we um, have the uh, CCL17 uh, uh, increased. Uh, I um, until now I could not explain the results uh, that uh, uh, correlated with uh, the um, uh, the uh, <coughs> with, uh, the just, uh, the silicon, uh, the um, depression scores. Uh, uh, I I think I will uh, further study this uh, special uh, silicon CCL. Uh, 17. Uh, thank you. Please join me in thanking Professor Walmart.